Right, everyone, we're flip drill. Oh, I've just seen an update on here saying Hangouts is going away later this year. So, um, but yeah, it looks like I'll still be at a stream. He said I won't be doing it on this way. Uh, so it may mean that we can't do the joint streams anymore. So maybe we'll have to get one of them in one day. Right, so yeah. Welcome to the stream. I don't know who's on yet. I'll have a look in a minute. So now while I've got you all here and you're all on, if you ever wanted to support this channel, you can via Patreon, 79p a month or $1 a month. You get your name on there so you can um, advertise your channel. That shows up a lot better on normal videos because this is like my shit webcam. There's also affiliate links. So there's eBay, Amazon and Gearbest. If you shop at those websites, I get 7 to 10% of what you spend. You can buy literally anything. As long as you use my links to go to those websites. Um, yeah, and I get paid that way. And you don't get no extra added on. There's also PayPal donations if you wanted to. Some people do. And then there's merchandise. So I've got my own T-shirts. I've got T-shirts, mugs with a different logo on. Stickers, which you can see there. There. A bit bright in here today. It's still daylight. So, yeah. Right, I'll come over to the uh, chat now. Hopefully this shit will be done. I feel like I've missed something today, but I think it's because I've not done myself a coffee. But whenever I do that, it makes me think, oh shit, I've forgotten something. I'll let you know when I see you. I've also got a fucking itchy head just there. <laughs> I'll let you know when I've got this all done. I'm a bit tired tonight. Pop up chat. Let's see. So, who have we got on? I don't know. Live chat. So, Sam, Leonard, Tim, Daniel, Liam, Marcus, Krylon. All right. Sam, so question, how does it work with Prime if I want to use your link? Do you know what? I'm not sure, Sam. I think that's one thing I don't know. I'd assume all you'd have to do... Yeah, I don't know. I don't really know how Prime works, if I'm honest. Um, I'd assume, though, just go, just go to Amazon via one of my links and then do whatever, and, yeah, my... I might still get some kind of bonus out of it. Yeah, it's a hard one for me to say. I'm not really sure. Yeah, that thing I was just on about a minute ago said um, that Hangouts is going to go soon. I did sort of think, oh, shit, that mean I ain't going to be able to stream. But then I realised what it was saying is just that hangover, the Hangouts bit. There's another way of doing it anyway. I think there's quite a few ways to do it the way I do. Because I just do it with a webcam. I don't do the OBS and all that. But yeah, I think you would just, yeah, as I, problem is, I don't really know how Prime works, Amazon Prime, so yeah. Sam said, I have Prime, I have to be logged in. Um, when I went to your link, there was no login option. Ah. Yeah, fuck no, said, as long as you go, go to, yeah, I don't know then, yeah, that's a shame, isn't it? That's the one thing, because I, I don't really know anything about Prime. I'll have to look that up one day. I could look it up online. Uh, but yeah. I know with the Prime, what you can do, a di completely different thing, but and and it doesn't really matter anyway. But on when you have Prime, you can subscribe on that Twitch where I do the game streams. There's a... Um, you can subscribe on there and it's something like four dollars a month to subscribe if you have prime you can subscribe to people for free but i don't need subscribers on there anyway damn rock survival you right right sam said i'll see if i can figure it out on my next purchase and let you know cheers sam i appreciate that yeah the only thing i was going to say is yeah go go to amazon through my link and then i suppose without going off See if you can then find the Amazon Prime uh, sign in. I may be able to sort out an Amazon Prime link. I'll look into that though. 
No, Daniel said, I've um, done much. You know what? I haven't really. I've, um, I've packaged up my quivers, seven of those ready to sell. I sell that one. I've had to do it a slightly different way, but I normally package them up like that, put them on a piece of flat cardboard because you can get them nice and thin then. Um, packaged them up, emailed all of the people who wanted some, apart from Leonard, J.B. Bushcraft, and Z not Z. You three, because you asked last night, I'm going to ask you after the others. You know what I mean? Uh, because there was like 10 other people who'd asked like months ago. But what I'll do, I think only Leonard's on, isn't he? Um, if the other people don't get back to me by tomorrow night, I'll message you three. I think only Leonard's on at the minute, isn't he? Now, that's all I've done, really. I cut myself a homemade Chinese. Um, everyone else had, everyone else went out and bought one. But I didn't want to spend the money, so oh, fuck, I didn't make one. And that's about it, really. I haven't really done a lot. I thought I had someone on the security cameras. I may at one point have to go downstairs for a couple of minutes, possibly. Weapons Officer, I have Amazon Prime. We'll have to look into that, Mike, to see if I can support you for free without paying anything more myself. Yeah, have a look into it. I know with Prime you can subscribe to um, Twitch for free. don't know how that works. It just means, I suppose, the more subscribers you have, the more likely you to to be a partner, I suppose. I don't really know with that one. But, yeah. Cheers. But yeah, quite confusing, isn't it? Prep for it, you right, mate? And said, that's fine, mate. Mike, I still want one, mate. Yeah, I, um, I've got... A, there, was, there was about 10 other people who've asked, and I thought I'd better give them the first the first choice, really. Do you know what I mean? As they've, some of them have been waiting for months. The only thing is, I don't know if my bloody messages are going into their spam or something. Because uh, a lot of them haven't got back to me. Sam said, I know Johnny on the spot today. What's that, Johnny on the spot? Oh, I'm missing something there. Pizza Boy said, Dude, you blocked noodles. Uh, Marcus said, I'm all. Um, yeah, Michael said to Sam, any more gunplay today? Tim said, Mike, if you've got any spare ones, uh, Mike, if you've got any spare once everyone's got one, I wouldn't mind having one. Oh, nice one, Tim. I'll put your name down then. Um, hang on. Uh, yeah, and if they don't get back to me, I've got seven done, seven or eight done, and I've got enough to make another two or three. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. I've got about 15 people, but I doubt all of them will get back to me. Uh, so, yeah, if they ain't got back to me in a couple of days, Tim, you'll get an email. So, actually, Tim, yeah, email me, mate, so, um, so I can get back to you. And then what I'll do, I'll message you. Memphis said, how are you? Yeah, I'm, I'm good, mate. Thank you for asking. Memphis said, Marcus, quiet so far. The day is young, though. Didn't hear much last night, but there was a small light show down south. Um, yeah, I never did look up that place. Naco, was it? Narco, Naco. It wasn't Naco, was it? But well, I've got a fucking slight heartburn from that Chinese I had. Weapons I've said... Did you like the Geiger counter there, Mike? Yes, very interesting. That, yeah, it's a good one, that one, it, with the Alpha Probe. Oh, I did watch it. Yeah, very, very nice, and I think your viewers will love that. I don't know if the uh, video... Oh, I've got it in HD, that's why. Let's put that down at 240. Surely it's not good having your own preview bit. It's fucking 720. <laughs> Because I've got to watch myself, but I don't need to be watching it at 720. That way. Uh, where am I? I'm to six dead in total yesterday, plus nine a few days ago. You know, yeah. Jim said, we'll do him, Mike, thanks. 
Uh, and I said lots of comments were things like from the feed water, I presume. Yeah, nice. Then I said, what Chinese food did you cook like? I cooked uh, some spring rolls, little spring rolls, four or five spring rolls. And then I fried some mushrooms and some onions in a bit of a peanut oil, I think it is. And then put some Chinese curry sauce on that. And then while I was cooking those um, spring rolls, I was cut some chicken, chicken dippers. They call it like chicken nuggets. So that there was like chicken balls. Chuck that in. Uh, yeah. So I had like a Chinese curry, and then there was some chips over from them. Chips left over from them lot. Daryl, you right, mate? What are you at tonight? Doing anything? Sam said, Naco, Mexico, Michael, Agua, Prieta, Mexico. Both of our shootings all week. Um, interestingly enough, the Czech sauce on the side of the Geiger is a bit of Americinium. Americinium. Exactly like the one I took from the smoke line. I did wonder why that did that when you... Um, Noodles might have been shadow banned for constantly keep messaging me about um, Red Dawn. Uh, YouTube have a habit of, if you keep constantly putting the same thing in, they think you're spamming people, and then they start pretty much hiding all your comments. Liam knows about it, but that may have been what happened. I'll have a look on my block thing, but I certainly haven't. Right, where am I? Weapons I said no. Dead not Z. You're right, mate. Sorry, I'm getting distracted now. Uh, what was I saying? Um, I meant to say something to you, Zed, but I can't. What the fuck it was now? It was something about the um, crossbow quivers. It, I've got a load ready, Zed, and. Um, Oh, I can't remember what I was fucking saying. Crossbow quivers. I've offered a load of people. If they don't get back to me, I'll get back to you in a couple of days, Zed. I want, they're going to have the first option first, so you know what I mean? Yeah, I like the stream. Cheers, Leonard. Um, weapons I've said, just a, just a bigger bit as a smoke alarm one goes over 1k counts per second. The test... Source Max is a Geiger uh, out at over 2k. Yeah, I had wondered what it was. You know, I did. Yeah, that's, that's good. Doubt it now. I've been pissing down all week on fuck all so far. I ain't done anything this week. I barely even did a video this week now. Weapons I've said long. Uh, long no, Samuel. What did he say? Um, oh, Liam, you building a nuke pad. And then Liam said, no, Sam, I find nuclear stuff interesting. You can order uranium or online, though. <laughs> Joking, t Thank you. Beats boy, that doesn't sound right. I'll have a look. I'll have a look later. Then it was, he said, Marcus, just about, well. And then I said to Dow, same up in Scotland. Weapons, I said, Geigers usually have a check source with them, Mike, so you can test it working. Normally a bit of radioactive material strapped to the side of the Geiger or a carry case. All right, yeah, I don't really know nothing about them, but, yeah, that would make total sense, wouldn't it? Yeah. I don't know, Marcus. Marcus said, how do we get noodles back? He's a mate of mine. I'll have a look on the block thing, see if he's been put on the block list without me knowing. Because it can happen. Um, I don't know. Or I'll have to look. I don't know. I'll try and sort something out, though. I don't know, really. 
Well, he's there anyway, Mark. He's a pizza boy anyway. So. Then I said, you heard anything from Stu, WS94? Mike, not heard from him before. No, I haven't, actually. No, no, you say that. I know he, um, have you watched his last video? Has he mentioned anything then? I know sometimes he does come and go a bit. I, he did say in one of his videos, he might be watching this, you never know. He did say in one of his videos, I think I remember, something about, um, something about work, possibly. I'm not sure. Oh, sorry, Pete, I missed your fucking um, comment. All right, mate. <laughs> so that's why. Yeah, you're right, mate. Uh, Bristol said, Mike's back in town for the boys. <laughs> I've said, YouTube had unsubbed me from Jack. Need to catch up on his videos again. Yeah, I noticed today that I hadn't had any videos from a um, bloke called Wheel Juggle Knives. And I've not had a single video from him for months and months and months. And then look on there, and he's been uploading every week. So probably what people do to me, you know, due to my subscribers. Well, a bit quiet tonight, isn't it? A bit strange one tonight. How many people are on? SRS Power, you right, Sam? He said, I shot a dog fox earlier. It was eating a dead sheep. I suppose it probably... What do you reckon? That killed it or something? Or... Yeah, uh, that's interesting. You've done a video of it? I haven't watched the, your latest videos. I haven't had a chance yet. But I've seen them in my subs. Pizza Boy said, Mark, I have like 20 accounts. Well, I get blocked. I'll just come back. <laughs> like Seaside Heights Herpes. Carlin said, what do you think about the movies that are replacing male characters with female ones like Captain America? Ah! Uh, I don't know. I think it's weird if the character was always... I think if the source material was something, it should stay that way. You know what I mean? You know, if, if a comic as a... or a book as a white bloke or a white woman or a black bloke or a black woman or whatever, I think the films and that should should stay as that. Otherwise, it's not, the, it's not the character. That's why I would never watch the Dark Tower film because... Idris Elba cannot be Roland the Shane. <laughs> but I'm not allowed to say that, though, really. <laughs> but yeah, I think it's I think it's weird and pointless, and why not just stick to what it was originally? I can understand in things like um, Spider Man into the Spider Verse, or whatever it's called, where they've got a an old Spider Man, a girl Spider Man, and a young black boy Spider Man. But that's all different universes, you see, and that that could be that could happen. Um, but real normal Spider Man is a young white bloke, isn't he? Then uh, I said, anyone getting treated for Father's Day? I certainly won't be. I ain't, I ain't, I ain't got no kids. <laughs> then I'll have to buy my dad something, cook, cook him something nice for his dinner. Um, SRS said, no, I saw the sheep looking quite ill a couple of weeks ago. It would have died on its own, but the carcass might be useful for tempting them. Ah, nice. Yeah, good idea. Yeah. Sam said to um, Krylon, Captain Marvel, don't I don't waste my money. That's said, quite them good. Women in tight spandex always looks better than fellas in tight spandex. Well, yeah, well, now he's put it that way. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah, maybe it is a good idea. <laughs> then I said, quite on the Ghostbusters remake was shockingly bad. SRS said, um, yes, you can now. I think that's Mark is saying, oh, can you, can you start plugging pigeons again? 
Where am I? Pink said, did you have any luck selling the stuff? I've sold two, and they've already been paid for. I just need to wait for the others to get back to me now. I uh, messaged about 10, 12 people today. Weapons and stuff said, have you ever seen Departed, Mike? Chris, the chef at work, tells me I really need to see it. Oh, yeah, I have, I have seen that. Yeah, that's work, that is worth watching, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I won't say nothing about that. But yeah, I, yeah, I think that's well worth watching. My dad liked that, and he's quite um, picky with uh, films he likes. Very, very fucking picky, actually. But he quite liked The Departed, so yeah. <laughs> if he liked it, you'd like it. You don't like any fucking thing. <laughs> yeah, no, it is good. Tim said to SRS, Tim said to SRS Pass, it was legal to shoot pigeons again. Tom said to Liam, the departed is a good flick. Michael said to SRS and Maggie's. Um, and then to Liam, brilliant film. Memphis said, adding me on PS4 worked. So when do I get to shoot you in Fallout? When I go back on it, so you'll have to keep... Oh, I've got fucking hiccups, man. You'll have to keep a lookout for me. I ain't on it at the minute, though. And I did work, did I? I actually added you on my... Um, PS3, but it does it both. does it for the PSN, but I was on my PS3 when I accepted it. Dead said, is that about ghosts or some sort? No, it's as... Yeah, as, um, as Liam says, yeah. Irish Mafia. It's good. It's um, yeah. Got some good actors in it. Remember, thanks, Mark. Thank Mike and Marcus. Also told him he probably liked the horde. Yeah, that was that's well fighting. Just for, it's a proper good laugh. There's a prop that in the horse that at least I think it. There's one bit that make most people laugh out loud. Leonard said to me, did you plant any veggies this year, Mike? You know what? Leonard, I haven't bothered this year. I couldn't be asked. Plus, my greenhouse at the minute is full of wood. Because I've had to stash all my wood in my sh in my greenhouse so it don't get chucked away. <laughs> so, yeah. My fucking greenhouse is my shed at the minute. Otherwise, it keeps getting chucked as, you know, people see it and just think it's rubbish and sling it. Because it technically is rubbish, but not to me, I think. <laughs> Yeah, but The Departed does sound like a ghost thing, don't it? Carlos said, Sam, I don't plan on spending anything on it. Oh, yeah, our pizza boy said, Irish Boston. That's what it is, yeah, like Irish Boston Mafia, isn't it? Is those dirty people. Sam said, if you sold your quivers on Amazon, Mike, we could use your link, and you would you, do you still get 10%? You know what I might do? I can sell them on eBay as well. And I've got eBay, um... Nick. Yeah, maybe I'll, you know what I probably would. Yeah, I would. Yeah, I say that I don't definitely know, but um, technically you would, wouldn't you? But the, the your eBay actually your eBay and your Amazon are connected to your your affiliate link thing, so they would probably cancel it out. It's a bit like um, well, unless I linked if I linked to Amazon and then you went to my page on there, that would probably work. Because they won't. I've tried buying stuff myself from my own affiliate links, and it, it don't let you do it. it. Lets you buy it, but it won't let you have the commission. Rich, you're right, mate. Riggs, you're right. SRS said you can shoot wood pigeon, um, like the old license, and carry on crows and jackdaws, but not magpies. I think. Dad said Irish mafia. You make them an offer. They, you make them an offer. They can't refuse. <laughs> Colin said, Leonard, you're right about the Ghostbusters. Yeah, I've never seen that. And then SRS said, ask Defra. How about why why not Magpies? security cameras and I said Mike can you do a video about how to stash stuff like crossbows underground safely long term 
Yeah, all right. I'll see what I can do with that. Let's write that down. I don't know when it will get made, though. That may involve me making like a thing. And I'm going to do that stash cash soon, so we could always test that. I'm going to point over there because it's behind my fucking sofa at the minute. But yeah, when I get time to that, time to do that, I'll, um, yeah, that, that's a good video idea then. Uh, Tim said, make a different eBay account or we'll use your link to buy them. You know, I don't know. It might, um, I'm not sure. You know, cause it, it, I'll have to look into it, but I don't suppose it would matter that much anyway, because what would it be? Um, well, I suppose, I don't know how much, because the thing is, it, some things, it's not always 10%, but let's say it was 10%. Yeah, so I suppose for every crossbow I sold, I would get an extra one pound twenty-five, wouldn't I? Do you know what? Let's clean that up. Mark said to me, Mike, did you sell any, did you sell all your tortoises? I didn't sell a single one, sadly. No, that was a weird one. Not a single person was interested in any of them. Um, yeah. Weird, isn't it? One of them would have, just selling one of them tortoises would have sorted me out because I need some money at the minute. Pete said, lots of people asking about Asking about camping woods bug out stuff. What do you reckon that? Why is that, do you reckon? See it fan coming soon? <laughs> Pete's supposed to get a haircut. You know what? I'm going to have to leave it for a bit. I'll cut it soon, though. Uh, Sam said to Leonard, not sure what you have there. We have six inch plumbing pipe. Um, that can be sealed and buried. Works as a nice cash. Uh, use a post hole digger. Plant it, plant it deep. Yeah, um, yeah, we do have things like that, Sam. Yeah. Because you'd only have to take the prod off. But yeah, that, that would work. And we do have that over here. Richard managed to get a motor, the motor pulley done for my 2x72 belt grinder today just a few bits to weld and it's done and i just wonder so i'm looking forward to seeing that Jim's a genuine question have you ever been to hmp i've been in a young offenders prison for about six weeks when i was 20. that's it uh not he said the trouble send quivers on ebay you might get might get you noticed by the tax man. Yeah, might do. Yeah, never really thought about that. Um, because the only thing is, it's always going to be a low amount anyway. If you know what I mean. Um, that's why I prefer to do it the way I do. Just advertise them on YouTube. Let people ask for them. Make them when I want. I don't have to do too many at a time. Then. You know what I mean. Then I said, "What's your next purchase, Mike?" Hang on, uh, I'll, I'll answer that in a second. I'll just do Marcus's. Word. Marcus said, I'll have another look, mate. I'll sort some. Oh, the torches. Thank you, Marcus. I appreciate that. Make me an offer, mate. Make me an offer. Then, then um, prices ain't, um, you know. But I'll tell you what, if you look online for how much those things are new, all of them prices are uh, pretty good. Right, Leonard said, what's your next purchase, Mike? Yeah, well, I don't know. Um, I ain't got a lot of spending cash at the minute. Um, the only thing I've been buying stuff with is the Patreon money. I've been buying some arrows. So I might, again, next time, because it's handy to have arrows and bolts, I'm getting, I think, £18 a month off of Patreon at the minute. But that Patreon goes purely for stuff for YouTube videos. So I may get another six arrows for 10 quid or I might get another six or eight crossbow bolts because it's always good to have you know without the crossbow bolts or the arrows um i can't fucking shoot them so but he said grow the top like me i want to cut it now but i fucking uh i'm going to a wedding soon and 
I've been asked if I wouldn't have really short hair. So I thought, fuck it. All right, they've asked. I don't care. Uh, so I better not cut it now. But I may have to cut it soon, but with a grade. But it's the only time I'm doing it. I'll cut it with a grade so I've still got a bit of hair. And then as soon as I've been to the wedding, I'll cut it all off. So. Uh, Crystal said, Mike, I'd have told you on a website so we could browse over them. Yeah, if you look, well, they are on the proper, um, yeah, if you look on Olight, I've put them away for now, but they're on, if you look on Olight, all of them on there, uh, because the names I've put on there are the proper names. But yeah, you'll find them all over the place, those torches. But yeah, make me an offer for them, you know, if you think the price is a bit much. Um, or every single one of those torches, I've got a video of it. If you want to watch a review on it, that might be the easiest thing. Bristol, go on to my look up the one you like the look of, go to the search bit on my channel, put in the name, and you'll see my review of it. Carl said to Z, yeah, but I'm watching the movies for that. Uh, um getting mixed up with that jim said he done three years three years in polmont yeah if i'd have got done for the thing they was accusing me of me and my brother that would have been a minimum sentence of seven years but um yeah i was on remand for them six weeks and then the whole thing was just dropped uh i think they thought they wouldn't be able to convict us i was innocent anyway but um uh yeah would have been minimum seven normally in over here the sentence is a half so if you've got seven years you'd only do three and a half as long as you behave then you're on another three and a half on license sort of thing the minimum i would have done was seven years due to something to do with it but i can't say you know what i mean um marcus said Yep, I know I'm no light nut. No, yeah, I'd go and have a look, Marcus. Um, if you want any of them, you know, they're yours, mate. But just, you know, and if you think the prices need to be a bit cheaper, let me know. I'm fine with that. Yeah, if I sold one of them, you'd be sorting me out brilliantly. Um, Pete said, I've got myself a little tri tripod, like the one you have in the back. Oh, nice. Yeah, they're all right, aren't they? That's, the, that's good for uh perfect for shed stuff that and then the other one i got from the i, I use that in the shed and then this one bit bigger one good for in the garden but that's good for the garden oh, that still stands up like that eye yeah good little thing isn't it? but it said i needed one because um i had a very small mini mini one you know fucking food ain't gone down properly today I'm said to Pete, I was born with a tripod. <laughs> I've short legs, so. <laughs> Ron said, Mike, the pit bull from yesterday uh, was Daisy and was the dog that ate the squeaky toy and the diamond from the movie Snatch. Oh, nice. Yeah, all right. Yeah, I didn't. Yeah, I didn't know that one. Guys, I ain't watched Snatch for probably five, six years. I'll probably re-watch it again soon. Then I said, when's the target shooting competition kicking off? You know what? Then have a look on. I'm not actually sure. It should be soon though, shouldn't it? I try and do it at the same time every year. So yeah, I'd have to have a look when I started it last year. Kept it fucking going till fucking November last time, didn't I, I think? I won't do that this time. Pete said, I have one long and extendable leg. <laughs> Don't see, he said, innocent, were you? Don't tell me. The big boy did it and ran away. <laughs> I don't know what happened. I don't know. Genuinely, actually, I don't know what fucking happened. So. No comment. Mark said, okay, bud, speak to you later. Uh, cheers, Mark, I appreciate that. Yeah, funny, I didn't sell a single one. The only people who have been interested was you in Bristol. Yeah, you're fucking welcome to them, I tell you. Yeah. 
They're all new. All they've ever been is just opened, reviewed, put back in the box. Same with a lot of my stuff. If you ever see any tortoises on my channel, any of you lot, and you want them, let me know. I'll do them for decent prices. You get, you know, I'll get a bit of money out of it, and you get a cheap but good torch. They're fucking well good, them um, O lights. Sam says snatch is one of his favourite. What the film or the other, uh, the other kind of snacks? What well, RN? You right, mate? Jim said, uh, I have to knowledge of what I've done. Oh, you have no no knowledge of what I've done because it was on an acid trip. Woke up the next day in a cell. I've done, you know, waking up in a cell before. Um, yeah. Like not knowing what I've done the night before. In fact, that night I think was pretty much similar. No, it wasn't actually, no. I remember. I have had nights where I've, or mornings where I've woke up in the police station. Before I've opened my eyes, I've just been saying to myself, please let that be the dream. Please let that be a dream. And you open your eyes and you're in the police station. Like, oh, fuck. <laughs> Um, hey, yeah, Mark has said the same thing as me. Snaps the movie or snaps the place thing. Colin was laughing. Pete said I would get one if I didn't already have the S2R baton. Uh, but I can say the O light is worth it. Yeah, they're fucking brilliant torches, aren't they? Really, they're probably the best torches I've ever had. Don't said to Marcus, I'll take both, just don't confuse the second snatch with snappers. <laughs> RN said I knew a guy from work who would. Rat his butt off and sniff his fingers. Lol, true story. What to say? Where'd that come from? Mark said, uh, "You can't have enough. You can't have enough torches." No, you're right there. Yeah. I think it can. Then said the other kind of snacks. Then he said, "There's going to be the death in my house in a minute. That bastard, blue bottles, days and numbered." Tell you what, I went in my fucking shed the other day. And the whole entire fucking window, not the whole entire window, that's a bit of an exaggeration, but there's about 20 big fat fucking um, blue bottle flies, big fuckers as well. I'm thinking of something that died in there. Riddle said, found your torches, it's in the community forum. Oh, no, she had the pictures of them, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and then if you put those names into the search bit, uh, you'll see my reviews of them. Fucking boiling here. Pete said, get that sticky tape. They work. What's that? You're not confusing me, you know. <laughs> you keep reading things that seem to me seem completely random. I can't work out what you're on about. What was I just on about? It may be because of me. I'll oh, fly tape, fuck's sake. It's my fault. I because I say something and I completely forget that I've just said it. Yeah, oh yeah, they'll fly they'll fly paper, yeah. Yeah, sorry, uh Pete, that was me. But also because of the slight delay, you go on from one thing to another. Yeah. Well, I just in the shed, I just fucking sprayed the fuckers with some fly spray. But yeah, I think something died in there. We was having the same issue as uh, Marcus recently. Seen a rat in my garden. So maybe that's dead somewhere. All right, I may have to go downstairs in a minute. We'll see in about two or three minutes. Can you hear that? See if I get shouted in it. Oh, I didn't kill it, Memphis, but uh, 
there are traps out there and poison. So it might be that. But I don't know. Yeah, but I would have shot the bastard if I'd seen it. But um, the only time I ever saw it was it was coming out of our shed. Like I said to me, I loved sorting those rats out. It was great fun. <laughs> you don't see, so someone lurking in the garden. I'll tell you what it is. That someone who's been shopping and would want me to bring the fucking bags in. But they may not have gone on their own. If someone went with them, which I hope they did, they'll be getting them in. Turn that down. If I get shot. I'm going to watch the camera just for a second and see if someone brings the bags in. Well, what is that? What would be your weapon of choice? What for rats? This. Well, it all depends how close, but it would be this first. And if it was working, my crossman 2240. Yeah, someone else. I'd be quiet. Someone else is getting the shuffling in for me. So, yeah. Safety's on. I was going to do a bit of a bad um, gun uh, handling then. Uh, and I said, Matt's the man to sort that rat out. Well, the traps out there are his. He made some. Yeah, so it'd be this, and if it was working, my um, Crossman 2240. Amy's on, you're right, Amy? Uh, Pete said, got a two-ounce pure copper skull today, hand-poured and is weighty. Got to keep it in my pocket and um, watch it get a patina. You know what I would like to do, Pete? If I had the stuff to do it, I would like to... Um, make big life-size solid or or um maybe not solid aluminium skulls i bet they'd fucking sell well good but it's getting the aluminium and getting you know doing the molds it wouldn't be difficult if you've got the stuff jeremy said the rat market is i've stopped making youtube videos he's been absent for a while i think i saw the one where he died yeah all right um only if i didn't say hello <laughs> I said, have you ever used your weapons on someone? I wouldn't be allowed to say if I did, just in case. But um, I have been a naughty boy when I was younger, but I've been a good boy since <laughs> I was 20. <laughs> we just leave it at that. Right, you never know who's watching, you see. Uh, I'll ask my phone because I'm saying, can you put the shopping away? Hello? Yeah. <laughs> can someone else do it? Well, can it stay out? <laughs> oh, I'll just come down and do it. I've already told them I would probably have to do this anyway. <laughs> All right, see you in a minute. All right, bye. I'll go downstairs for a couple of minutes. I'll just leave the fucking stream on. You know, I ain't going to stop it. I'll just read these last bits. Can I put the shuffling away? Um, Dan said, hey, Amy, enjoyed your videos yesterday. Enjoyed your um, singing song. Yeah, I watched a couple of your videos, Amy, actually. Um, T2, you're right. Jim said, uh, what would be your approach to someone breaking your house? Oh, I wouldn't be outside, Jim, but you can probably imagine. <laughs> I don't like saying on here, just in case someone's watching and uh, recording these things. Do you know what I mean? Richard said, if Robocop 
there's ever a film club movie mike make sure you get uh you replicate the scene where murphy gets shot to death with zombie i'm going to put that on my list actually uh Rit, i'm glad you said that because i don't have that on dvd so i would forget but yeah robocop definitely the fucking uncut robocop Yeah, definitely, Rich. I fucking love Robocop. All right. Uh, Big Oak is that police on the phone. <laughs> Amy said I meant as in protection. <laughs> Holy shit, the phone scared me. Scared me as well. Someone rang me early because I've what I've done, I changed my bloody ringtone recently, and it scares me when it fucking um, rings now, plus how loud it is. I have... Uh, well, the thing is, Amy, in this country, you're not even really allowed to use a weapon for self-defence. That's still classed as illegal over here. But um I might uh, Sam said fuck's sake, that ringer would have me on edge. I <laughs> was taking the shotgun to it after two calls. You know what? Hardly anyone ever rings me, but yeah, today and just then that scared the fucking crap out of me as well. Earlier it made me fucking jump out of my seat. So I forgot I'd changed the bloody ringtone recently. Not very nice, is it? It's a bit of a weird, like... Uh, Dumbo Sabo said, Mate lost an eye about 28 years ago using Molten Alley. He poured it into a mould and a little bit of water in it. He wasn't wearing a mask and his, and his face and coveralls got covered in hot aluminium. Yeah, fucking hell, that's terrible, isn't it? Pete said, Sent you a pic, pic of the skull. Um, yeah, it would be cool to make. Him to your defo X special forces in a witness protection program in America or something. We're a hit, man. <laughs> Ian, you're right, mate. Amy said, Fair, right. Have a little chat between yourselves. I might leave the rest of the stuff out, just put the frozen stuff away. So don't go mad on the comments. So I um, still read them on the back. Well, I literally just slung it in the fucking fridge. I'll sort it out later. <laughs> I'm going to have to have a piss now. Uh, I'm back again. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I should have put a bit of Elevate music on. Well, I was actually going to download some one day. Uh, 
<laughs> Pete said, yeah, you have to make sure that you um, have the mould beforehand. Heat, heat the mould beforehand. They also have a person <laughs> follow the mould and come back with a mouthful of what's it. Now, I tucked a bit of food. Uh, then I said, what would everyone have first from the board? Thimble Salbu said to Sam, I'll ask Mike when he comes back. A bit like Cheetos. <laughs> your fingers smell like you've had them up your bum after eating them. What is this obsession of people sticking their finger up their ass today? We're talking about that. <laughs> That's two people tonight. Cheese sausage shaped shit. Yeah, I, feel, I wonder what you're on about for a second then. Yeah, fucking Cheeto, isn't it? Yeah. Bunch of fucking nutters, isn't it? Who's bringing up food as well? Well, technically I do because I don't put it away. T2 said, Guy asked if we could fit the seats he bought from Blackpool last night into his Defender. Um, it was quiet, so yeah, no problems. Took his seats out, went to put the new ones in. Oh, there's bloody Asian wasp hornet. There, bloody are. Something's making Mitch laugh. Just fingers in the starfish. Fuck's sake. All right, enough of that. I've always got an itchy fucking nose, I'll tell you that, but you don't know that by now. Irishman said, hi guys, uh, since you're talking about food, I'll just put a pizza in the oven. <laughs> no more food talk. I ain't even got a fucking coffee to fucking drink. I've got water today. I said, you should have said you didn't see the shop it because it wasn't there. <laughs> I should have. Tell you what, half of it is still there. I fucking, I've just refused to do it. I've got the meat, chuck that in the fucking fridge. I went downstairs and was told that... Can I put the stuff away because no one else is in? And when I turned around, every single person in the fucking house is in, apart from one person. That's the mentality in this house. Uh, they, they bring it in and that's their bit done. Or I have to bring it in and put it fucking away. Oh, well, who cares? But yes, I should have said that, Liam. Ian said, golden vegetables, croutons, love croutons. Golden vegetable what, soup? I quite like a bit of that. You know, copper soups are quite nice. No more fucking food talk. We'll, I'll let you talk about food for about two more minutes. And then uh, we'll stop him. So get your food uh, get your food chat out of the way while you got a chance. <laughs> No, no, it was a cup of soup. Now, I quite like them. I think they're all right for what they are. That's 300 second bands for food. That's it. <laughs> I might check my emails quickly. But yeah, that fucking ringtone. I really must change that back to something a little bit less fucking stressful <laughs> it's loud and it's like fucking itty nose i have to fucking cut my fucking nose there every fucking uh, two weeks now um pete said what's the next thing on your to-do list i've got to do that fucking um 
I thought I'd do a review on that padlock. That's the only thing I've got to do, really. No, the two things I've got to do, and I have to do, I mean, I mean, um, padlock tomorrow, Monday will be the film club video. And then I've got to try and think of something I want to do. Because at the minute, there's nothing that's jumping out to me for videos. I have little periods like that where suddenly I have nothing I really, really want to do. I know saying that, there's Richard's um, swords, you know, blades that he sent me. Richard said, I'm into stir fried vegetables at the moment, losing a bit of weight. Yeah, I need to lose a bit more. Still eating healthy. I've just stopped losing weight now, though. Not putting any on, but I haven't lost any again. Um, he said ramen noodles are good. If you had a cup of soup to them and you're cooking them. Ah, nice. Yeah. Yeah, I quite like them. I don't know I asked someone to buy some of them today. Well, not ramen noodles, but just fucking, I'd just get any fucking noodles. Right. Oh, that's you, Dad. You've just messaged me, haven't you? Cheers, mate. Yeah, that's perfect. Now, because you'll be on the list now. So if I don't get no replies from the other people, I will get back to you. Jim said, have you got a drone? No, I ain't got a drone. He is a Blues Brothers is on, on telly. I was with two tramps on walking down the road, and one says to the other, what's your ringtone? <laughs> that for a flies brown. That's so. Uh, Jim's on now. Right, Jim, I was saying to um, Zed and uh, Leonard that I've messaged loads of people about the quivers, right? The ones who asked months ago. If they don't reply to me in a couple of days, I'll then offer them to you, Jim. Fucking knows. Uh, Ian said, yeah, barbecue ribs with... Uh, Special for louder lies. <laughs> Pete said, did you see the new trailer for Cyberpunk 2077? No, I've not seen that. I know that Keanu fucking Reeves is in it or something. I'm sorry, Bruce. What's everyone doing for Father's Day tomorrow? I'm probably cooking a fucking Sunday dinner. That's it. Dad said, uh, I lost a lot of weight once. Trouble is, two weeks later, I bloody found it again. Right, where am I? Tumbo, right, mate? What have you missed? Not a lot. I had to go downstairs and put the fucking shopping away. So that's one thing. Uh, I can't think what we've been talking about. Just the old random. T2 said she said Father's Day tomorrow. I'm going to do lamb roast. Didn't have the guts to tell her. I'm getting metal detecting. <laughs> For fuck's sake. Brett Fritz said lentils are a good substitute for potatoes. Ah, you've read my mind there, Brett Fritz. I meant to look into that recently. I meant to look into what was a good alternative for bread, potatoes, and rice. So lentils would be, would they? Debio, Jim said um, hello to everyone. He said to me, cheers, mate. I'm not worried about waiting either way, though, mate. Nice, yeah. Yeah, all it is, Jim, is I, I needed a bit of money. So um if they if they don't want one straight away, I'll um I'll offer it up to you, maybe. So you don't mind waiting then, that's good though. Ian said never had lentils. But Neil was always eating them on the young ones. You know what? As soon as someone says lentils, that's the first person I think of as well. Yeah, Neil from the young ones, the fucking the old hippie. I like Neil, though. He's funny as fuck. That bit when he gets the wishes and says about, I don't have um, four pairs of arms. And then he's got the four pair of arms. And then Vivian kills the fucking genie. And Neil's just stood there going, like this, like a twat. Brother Mike, I think it is. Or Vivian. <laughs> like he's fucking dancing. I always love that bit. There's loads of good stuff in the um young ones though, isn't there? Just watching the replay of me doing that. 
Lentil and bacon is delicious. I've tried. I've had lentil and bacon soup. Jesus, oh that's funny, groovy man. I mean, I do like that. I, I love the fucking young ones. I think they're brilliant. I'll tell you what I've got, which I may have to rip onto a DVD one day. I've got the old series on VHS, and on those VHS, it's still got all the stuff that they cut out in the DVDs because there's a couple of um, bits that you probably wouldn't be able to say nowadays. Most of it's on the DVDs, but I know there's a couple of bits missing on the DVDs and um, some of the music's different. <laughs> So I'm gonna have to do that. I'm looking up there because that's where my DVD, my telly DVDs are. I can actually look straight at my young ones DVDs there. You had a Mackie D's for breakfast today, did you? Um, Pete, you no, know, actually saying that, do you know what I had for my breakfast today? I had a, um, I don't, I'll be honest, I've probably only had McDonald's 10 times in my life. Um, for my breakfast today, I had a microwave hot dog, you know, the, the um, like rustlers ones, and um, and a burger left over from yesterday. JBO said the young ones had some brilliant bland bands play on it. Love the episode where they're drilling for oil in the basement. Yeah, brilliant that. Um, Weapons Off said, apparently the Armando and Ichi shows can't be reshown due to music copyright issues. Ah, oh, that's a shame. That's fucking, that is brilliant, isn't it, Liam? The Armando and Ichi shows are a hidden fucking gem, I think. I, I, you're probably about the only person I know, or maybe one or two others you've ever said they've seen that. I think you watched it on my recommendation, didn't you? Because um, he's written a lot of, for, you know, I think he used to write for Alan Partridge, didn't he? A lot of really good comedies was written by... Um, Armando Iannucci. Um, yeah, I noticed on my young ones DVDs that that's there's copyright issues on that music copyright issues. And... Oh yeah, after watching Death of Stalin, yeah, you recommended me that, and then I recommended you that, wasn't it? Uh, Mark said I have censored version of Oliver's Army the other day. Uh, ridiculous. It's a shame, isn't it? It's a shame because um. To be honest, if it was acceptable all that time, why not just leave it? Ian said, remember Alexis Sale doing the Dr. Martin Boots, Dr. Martin Boots, yeah. <laughs> are the ones, are the ones with the air-filled souls. Our boots will have a meeting, our boots will take control. Yeah. <laughs> I ain't going to sing it, but I'll say it. But yeah, no, I, I asked, yeah, that's good, that. Peter said, Irishman, what's stopping you from detecting? Get a detector and get out there. Tim said, I ordered myself the Home Guard manual the other day. Looking forward to having a read for it. Ah, nice one, Tim. Yeah, you'll get... That's well worth getting, that. Double Sour Blue said, loved it when Neil kept sneezing and covered everyone in snot. Acupuncture with six-inch nails to the head. Yeah, that is good. There's loads of really good classic bits in the young ones, aren't there? Um, Ian said, get quick, get the picture back before um, <laughs> Elephant Ed comes on. Stop in the name of love. <laughs> Yeah, great, great series. Um, maybe I said the local shop in town has Spitfire and Hurricane manuals, three quid a pop. Uh, get a few next week. Oh, nice, yeah, that'd be worth getting. Sam said how to piss off a metal detector. Collect down aluminium soda, can tabs, and spread about. <laughs> not drink too much i'll tell you what though for the film club i don't know if you lot ever if i ever said or i pretty much did say tim thank you for the email just seen i got that yeah um i was gonna say uh i will eventually do i might do the young one so the rest not a film i the because the uk tv series are only six half an hour episodes you could easily watch that in a week without any hassle so things like bottom, I've done bottom thingy anyway, bottom lives, but it might be bottom series, young ones, because I want to do things like, if you have, have you ever seen Garth Marenghi's Dark Place? 
I think everyone should watch that at least once. That's one of the best TV shows I've ever fucking seen. Um, Snuffbox, stuff like that. I do want to... Um, got me saying aluminium. <laughs> um, yeah, I do want those on the film club. Oh, where am I? Richard, so hopefully this rainy weather goes soon. Got a lot of things to get finished. Yes, a bastard if you need something to um then at least somewhere I've got a young one's book. Do you know what, Zed? I had that book once. We used to go because my dad is a landscape gardener. Years ago, before he had a place to actually get rid of um stuff himself, he used to have to dump it at the local dump. Uh and what we used to go with him occasionally and there was a great big fucking i don't know what you'd call it like a massive skip but like the size of like five fucking skips yeah massive thing and that used to be full of all magazines papers and that and we used to get in that this is in the days where you'd be allowed to do that get in it dig around in all the things and we found that young one's book once brought it on but um i don't know what the fuck happened to it Definitely not here now, though. Tim said to Jim, that sounds interesting. When you say manual, do you mean like a user manual? Sam said, <laughs> got you to say aluminium. Jim Salbu said, foiled by foil. I bloody hate that. Ian said, been looking at um, NMP product website today, Mike, aka Sheffield Air Rifles. Going to get a fixed slide Beretta 92. Uh, in 45 millimeter, uh, four, four, five, that's 177 in it. Uh, BB 50 good, that sounds good. Yeah, I want to get eventually, I want to get a um, there's a spring, it's a SMK something, XS 32 or something, five or six foot pounds. That's the next thing I would like to buy, but I would need at least 120 quid for that or more. 100 quid for the gun, about 20 for the postage. That's a brake barrel spring. I like those because there's not a lot to go wrong with them. All of my fucking CO2 guns, apart from one, all the, all the um, seals are no good at the minute. I can't shoot any of them. That's what I was going to say. For the ratting, um, if I um, had to shoot a rat close up, it would be the Crossman 2240, but my Crossman 2240 don't work. Reverend Slough said, um, work was nice and quiet today until it started pissing down and we got really busy. The people coming in to get away from the rain, I suppose, isn't it? <clears throat> I think you've said that before, haven't you? JBO said to Tim, yeah, from what I saw, printed copies of the ones given to pilots. I've got some interesting things here that are um, copies of that, what we're talking about. I'll show you in a minute. I'll just try and catch up with the comments quickly. Sam said, Jumbo Sabu, I think that'd be more entertaining hobby, watching the, the detectors picking up aluminium pieces and cussing. That would actually be a good video. JBO said to me, is that the one that looks like a Japanese World War II pistol? The Beretta 92F is the classic Beretta, or the Beretta 92. I'm pretty sure that's the... Oh, do you mean the one I'm on about? Where is my Crossman 2240? I think it's down here. Right, where I put it. It's annoying me at the minute. It's bastard. No, that's that's this isn't the Crossman 2240, if that's the one you mean. That's a good gun now that I've sorted it out there. Right, that's the Webley. I'm never gonna find it now. I've put it away recently and I don't know where it is. I don't mind getting it though, because I'm curious now. I'm curious to know where it is now. Where the fuck is it? No, that's that one. That's not it. Where did I put it?
Well, I think it's under my bed. I think I put it away because it wasn't working. I thought I'd just put it away. There's no point having it anywhere out now. If it don't work. For Christmas, I don't think I showed them. Last Christmas, or it might not have been Christmas, it might have been when someone went on holiday. Someone bought me these. So let me just get this onto the thing so you can see it properly. So I got bought this. What to do in a wartime emergency. So there's that. Uh, make do and mend these are all little original world war ii books that have been redone they did pretty much just photocopied them because if you look inside even the fucking rusty the rusty fucking um staple fucking bits been photocopied and then that trench orders they should be quite interesting i might do videos on them eventually Um, Ian said, seen that, Mike. Does it have a little does it have a little green on it? Um, I'm getting confused now. What I was talking about for that. Sorry, Ian. Write that again. That explains to me what you mean. Pete said, uh, I want to get that cheap brake barrel. Cut it, cut it down to the smallest legal size. You'd have to look into that. I don't know what the legality of that is, but yeah. Tim said, do you leave the CO2 in your guns? I sometimes do. I don't anymore. But I had done, Tim, yeah. Ian said, yeah, Marcus, a uh, special offer I bought a toker of. Um, but seal failed in the mag. I said, my Geiger counter came today with two giant manuals. Not exactly hard to use, though, is it? That's strange, isn't it? They've got... Or what's he got? Every single language. Yeah, <laughs> going. Pete said, "Oh, now you're confusing me even more. Now the fuck's the number?" <laughs> oh, I literally have no idea what that means. Um. Oh, Ian said, "Excess fight to all black." I think the PCP with the green one. Yeah, I think the yeah the um XS32 is all black. Yeah, I don't think it's got any green on it personally. I don't I don't think it has. There's a scene all the stuff you've been rummaging through reminds me. Uh, when are you doing the second dis display board? As soon as I got the money to buy the um the wood Z, I was gonna get I was gonna buy the wood last beginning of this month, the the um plywood board. And I was fucking, I sounded like fucking four quid short. Yeah. So, um, yeah. And I didn't save any of it, which I should have. So I would have been able to buy it this time. So maybe if I don't buy any, what I might do, not buy any bolts and arrows this month, save next month's Patreon. Unless I get some free, because saying that, I might have my own bit of spending money soon anyway. But yeah, I do want to do it soon, Zed. Pete said, uh, got a burn today on my arm. I was throwing a box that had a plastic banding on it and it rubbed my skin fast enough to burn it along. And it was going, ah, fuck's sake, yeah. I won't have any burns or anything like that for ages, luckily. But I know what you mean. Friction burn. JBO said to me, cool little books. My nan has an original mate doing mend. Went through it years ago when I asked her to mend uh, my Tiger Strike Combat. Ah, oh, nice. I watched your video on that jacket the other day. You were saying about sewing. I'll do a bit of sewing. I think it's handy being out of sew. But this has got some interesting stuff in. What to do in a wartime emergency. Is that the one you said? No, you said the other one, didn't you? Um, wartime distress. Um, what did I just see? Six golden rules, the fire bomb, how to deal with fire, how to deal with a bomb, treatment of shock, treatment of wounds, 
these two should have been looking at a few catapults to take out the pigeons in the barns or I detect on the farmland. Any recommendations? <clears throat> doesn't want to use a crossman. Um, yeah, he doesn't want to use... You know what, Tito? I'm not really into my catapults, so I couldn't really say. Marks of friction burns are a sign you're doing it right. <laughs> Double side boot, there was a lube gas for airsoft. Put it in your gun and leave it. Why you don't use it? It preserves the seals. Hey, I'll have to do that because I have fucking none of my CO2 guns apart from that big one on the end work. And that one don't work properly anyway because it never feeds the fucking um, pellets properly. Very temperamental. All right, yeah, Pete, yeah. Just have a look now. Fucking come on, you can't. Don't fucking do it. It's disappeared now. I'll have a look in a second. Tim said you should know, Mike, but it's best to take the CO2 out when not in use. So it's not compressing the seal. Yeah, too late for me now. Oh, yeah, there's the um, skull. Yeah, looks good, that does. Oh, yeah, a bit like a Luger-type gun. I don't know if anyone will ever see this or not. I'll show you straight on it. Fucking show it. I'm so you should see the carpet burns over my knees. I was going to the teacher, I'll check it out. Cheers, although the laws here, uh, UK laws, they're not nearly as strict. Although the laws there are UK laws, they're not nearly as strict. Mark said to me, friction burns are signed, you're doing it right. DB prepared, right, mate? I'm getting my workshop sorted this week, finally. Don't have the confidence to do videos, but I'll send you a few photos of future projects if you're interested. Yeah, do that, mate. Um, yeah, I'd be interested in that. I oh, see, Jay, you're right, mate. Sorry, I didn't say hello. Pete said that Ambu is known to jam a lot. Ian said MMP products do a nice KWC Luger for 99 quid. Cheap looking Luger with Ambu, Mike. Chambered in 8mm. All right, yeah. Um, yeah, but if, I, um, if I bought an air gun next, it would be that. Well, it would be anything that was spring powered. And as powerful as you can get it legally, so and cheap. So it'd probably be that SMK XS32, if that's what it's called. Great barrel. You've got less to go wrong. I don't mind doing um, single shot. Although I like um, CO2 and that, it's you know if if you if you have a fuck up, it's you know one seal because there's multiple seals, multiple more things to go wrong, isn't there? I'm not saying there's anything wrong with them, but nowadays I like something simpler. I used to hate brake valve pistols, but I'd, I'd rather have brake valve pistols now. Or anything spring powered, anyway. Oh, the camera just went off then. The light went off. Double Sabu said, The only problem is by law you can't shoot vermin with an air pistol. They yeah, are. I won't be shooting anything with it then. <laughs> Irishman said, T2 coin seeker. If you can get some Fairband gold rubber, you can make a powerful slingshot. At the time, already half fucking ten. It's gone quick tonight. All right, CJ. So, yeah, I'll have a proper look through these. I've had a, I've had a little bit of a read. Um, I was saying that I've read them all, but I mean, I'll do a video on them possibly one day. Uh, nineteen forty-one calendar. 
Tim said, I've got a few CO2 rifles, but the power drop bugged me. So I've got a wire art KW97 KT Springer. <laughs> yeah, I always, I'd always have a um, spring rifle, definitely. BB said, I've got pre charged air guns before, and they're fantastic. However, always have a Springer as a backup. I see if prepping as nowhere near as technical and much less to go wrong. Exactly. Yeah, I totally agree with you there, mate. William, you're right. Yeah, good to see you on. You've still got another um, 35 minutes. I don't think I'll do a late one tonight. I've never had anything PCP. Uh, a couple of them are CO2. But yeah. And I had the old um, best air pistols I ever had. I did have a Brocock years ago when they were legal, but... Um, that's gone. And then, oh, I always liked, to be honest, I did always like the um, Crossman 2240, but now that I can't even use it. And I did have the, oh, um, what's the Wyrock, um pistol, HW45. But I found, for some reason, I could never hit a fucking thing with that. And I've never had any other gun, well, apart from that break barrel I showed you a minute ago. When I actually got a decent sight on that, I could. I couldn't hit nothing with that, but I can now. Yeah, I could never hit anything with the fucking um, HW45. Ian said, I've won the CO2 cap shot with a lighter. First shot comes out around 500 foot per second with the Jericho uh, 941. You into your uh, guns, Amy? I know this might change the subject if you want. Feel free to talk about anything you like. Because um, what I do on here, I just let the I let the um, chat just go where it wants. So if anyone ever wants to bring any other topics up. <laughs> ah, nice. Oh, 11 subs. In 11 subs, you build 600. That's good. That's decent. Oh, where am I? Pete said, got my 3 meter by 2.4 meter camo tarp a few days ago. Just need to book time off to get a few days camping now. Nice one. Yeah, you had some good gear there. Then up he said, the Gat Gun was the best pistol for Vernon. Throw the bugger hard and stuff and you can kill almost anything. Yeah, or just hold the barrel close enough so that when it's shot out, break its neck. <laughs> yeah, the good old gat guns. Bitch, and I have a video with over 80k views on my channel. Nice, no, what's that one? What is that one then? As we're always on about the gat guns and the gat gun darts, I can show you the gat gun dart now, as we're always on about it. I know where it is now. But it ain't fucking here. But I went through all of my fucking pallets recently and sorted out all the weird random ones. And while I was there, this will mean fuck all to most people. It won't focus, it never will. <laughs> yeah, Gat Gunda, 177. I've seen one of them hanging out of a girl's leg before. I've told you that story. Jim said, have you ever gone medieval on Tumble last? Yeah, when I was younger, yeah. Ian said, good old gap. Everyone had one in the 70s. Rich said, joke, I won't be able to view it. It's locked. Amy said, I'd much rather be shot than stabbed. 
Yeah, I want one either, personally, but I know what you mean. Irishman said to T2, check out Gamekeeper John's channel. He sells slingshots in the UK. He might sell band sets separately uh, that you can put on a fork you cut yourself. He said, oh, fuck darts. That was damp on, Mike. <laughs> Mark said, I remember those, Mike. Fishing shops always used to sell them. Yeah, you never see them now. I wonder if you can get them. I've never bothered looking. I bet you probably could get them on eBay. I've never bothered looking. But, um, yeah. That's the only one I've got. <laughs> Jim said he'd rather get stabbed. Yeah, I, I suppose you're right, yeah. He said, Frank, I'd rather not be shot or stabbed. The <laughs> lick fast one punches. Jim said, I never used the darts. There was a specific purpose for them, like playing darts. I think there was, Tim, yeah. I would assume so. There wouldn't be a lot you could do with them. I've got this in there as well that I've never bothered sticking up. Got well, a load of fucking them. That right around. But I won in a competition from um, Serene Madness. I never really had anywhere to put them. And I've also never known whether are they anti. I know they're anti-establishment sort of thing, aren't they? But are they sort of anti-British as well? I don't think they are nowadays, are they? But, um... DB was that designed to fire corks as well. Why? I don't know. I think it was uh, probably so you could do the dart thing, like you said, and um, knocking over cans and shit. I'd assume. Him to the he's not stabbed with a throwing knife. I've never been stabbed. Uh, well, I've accidentally stabbed myself in the um, the eyelid before and actually cut a little slit in the eyelid, playing around with knives, but I've never actually been stabbed or anything. Uh, so it depends on when, uh, what you're being shot or stabbed with, to be honest. Mark said, I never ever win giveaways. When I do one, well, uh, I hope for you'll win. <laughs> sound, sound like I was going to say something else. You know, I've won quite a few down the years. But then I did used to enter every single one that you'd ever fucking see. So. I entered the DB um, because cork fights are so much better than pillar fights. He said, I used to shoot knitting needles uh, <laughs> when out of lead in the 70s. Webley rifle with the corkscrew barrel. Oh, cork, not cork, with the screw on barrel. Oh, interchangeable barrels, yeah. We used to um, try shooting matches out of our old pump up crossman, but we used to put so many matches in it, it used to block the barrel. And said, No, scare me. Don't know why. I have five scars, three from my appendix up, one from a burn, from an exhaust, from a bike, and the last one was from uh, metal when I fell off. Uh, my bike, he rolled over me and the metal cut me. He got mad at me. Oh, your dad. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Oh, I've got scars all over me, to be honest. Oh, two minutes on count, I reckon. Beat said 10 more, Amy. Well, yeah, you know, some of you look, go and go and sub to Amy, get her to 600. As I've always said to you lot, all of you lot on here, you can always advertise your channels if you want subscribers. I'm 100% fine with that. I'll tell you what I'll do, Amy. I'll open up your channel quickly. It'll be easier for them to find it this way. Copy the link. Copy. Still on, ain't I? There you are, click that. And you can get Amy up over um, 600. 
Is that gone on? Well, my fucking uh, chat's frozen now. Hang on a minute. Come on, you bastard. So it fucking froze for a second then. Eh? Right, where am I? Jumble sad boots. I was a runner up in a male model contest once. I wouldn't have minded, but I was the only one who entered. Thank <laughs> you, saying thank you. Jim said me and my pals used to have air rifle battles in the woods. Those were the days. <laughs> Rounded up bus drive. You right, mate? Be on for about another 25 minutes, I reckon. Amy saying you don't, you? Ah, oh, you guys don't have to. <laughs> now nah, we're all up for that, Amy. We always do the old, um, you know, help each other out. Pete said, go sub to Backyard Big Booty Bitties. It's my mate's channel. Well, you're a fucking, uh, you're a fucking um, mod. You could just post the fucking link if you want. <laughs> don't tell no one, Pete. Send me that one to uh, Twitter later. He said, just press on the avatar to go to some more channel. There you are. I thought I'd just do the link because I know some people seem to have a bit of trouble sometimes. It's a joke. No, that's too late now, Peach. I want to see big yard, <laughs> backyard, big booty bitches now. I probably does. That channel probably does exist somewhere. You'll have to let us know if you get over 600, Amy. Um, ah, oh, well, the only thing is, Ian, no one else can do them apart from me and the mods. So I'll just go on to, um, go on to the channel, copy and paste it. But yeah, only mods. It's a thing YouTube won't let any commenters do it for some reason. I think it's because of um, spamming. So, yeah, only me, Pete, Rich, and um, Webmaster well, would be able to do, um, put links on here. Unless you change the link slightly, there's a way of like, adding spaces, but then it won't work as a link. Ian said to T2, our old man had a BSA air sporter with an underlever and a twist port on top. For loading pellets. Yeah, I think Mount's had something like that. I, I like them. They'll underlever with the um that what one of them pistols I showed you is an underlever with that that sort of bit with the um breach that opens. <laughs> Marcus said I'm going to be a mod one day. Well you already are on Matt's channel, aren't you? Oh Ian said, "I mean, on anyone's channel, not live, Mike. Well, all I, all I, you just go on, uh, go on to their channel, go on to the bit at the top. This is on a computer now. I don't know how you do it on a phone. You just copy and paste the bit from the um, the URL at the top that says www. You know what I mean? Copy and paste that. So you right click, is it right click, right click, yeah, copy, and then you paste it. If that's what you meant, Ian." <laughs> I don't, uh, Amy said if you say gullible really slowly it sounds like oranges you're just going to have to take their word for it that they're trying it <laughs> Irishman said can uh, can rockers do it or is it only mods <laughs> yeah no rockers and the skins and that and whatever yeah no only mods <laughs> DB says she's only five short rows. Make her day. Mark said, yeah, Mount looks after me. <laughs> Jumbo Sabo said, I want to get Black Ops 2-2. Two -two. Um, should I get more expensive gas round version? I don't know. Um, which one? What's the Black Ops 2-2? Two -two? Is that what I think it is? Oh, yeah, I don't know. My cousin had one of them until he fucking someone fucking nicked it off him. The only thing I know about that 
it's quite heavy if that's the one but it all depends though because um a lot of um a lot of guns if you're like me you wouldn't notice it was heavy anyway ian said thanks Amy was saying to db his dog is cute Sam said, I'm not mod material due to low morals and standards. That's why I'm here. <laughs> I had to have some mods, but I don't need no more at the minute. I'd, to be honest, if I could, I'd make you all bloody mods. <laughs> it's, it's either all of you or none of you. <laughs> Pete said he's a rocker. DB said, oh, the dog's cute, but he's a pain in the arse. Wouldn't be without him, though. So while I fucking remember, I'm going to take some fucking um, antacid fucking tablets because I'm going to get fucking heartburn again. Like acid reflux. I've had it since I get my dinner. Gunner, you right, mate? No, I don't know. As soon as someone says to me, what have I missed? I can't think what we've even been talking about. That's no no offence to anyone in the chat. You are all interesting. It's just I've got fucking brain dead if someone says to me what you've been doing on the chat. I can't remember what we were talking about two minutes ago. <laughs> Fucking first day, kid. Oh, wait, so I ain't got no fucking... Maybe I'll find some somewhere. Yeah, maybe I'll have to get them out and get. I ain't got none left, Marcus. The old Lamprazoles. Well, I've got two. Might save them. But yeah, May seems to be coming back a little bit. It's not bad, though, at least. Um, Ian said there was a terrible. Sh Ian, we were a terrible shot. This is T2 to Ian. My granddad was amazing. When he came back from a shoot, he'd always spent time with us. Show us where we went wrong. Brilliant man he was. Sounds good. He said, I like the gas ram. I had the venom, same as Liam. I'm just going to have to have a fucking Rennie tonight, sadly. Dead not Zine said, cut some more intelligent dogs. You won't get eight cats to pull a sledge for a deep snow for a start. Pete said, stay fuck again, I double dare you, motherfucker. <laughs> you watching Pulp Fiction or something? I've seen that's Is that Pulp Fiction? But it ain't fuck though, is it? It say what? Ian said, Crossman Venom, not the most accurate, but quiet in 2 2. A big suppressor. A decimate. Oh, nice. Um, then we said, yeah, that's the one, Mike. I remember seeing your video on it. Gas round version is 60 quid more. I don't know what's the difference. Is. I'll be honest with you, Riggs, I don't really know either. I've never really known the proper, you know, the pros and cons of gas round and over spring. Late night reviews. You all right, mate? Good to see you on. Thank you for joining in. T2 said he's a biker. Oh, don't you start that, Tim. I <laughs> said tonight's topic was stinky ass fingers. No, it wasn't. <laughs> Ian says, strike you down. Furious anger. Oh, yeah, Jules. Yeah. What's that? Is equal 25, 17. I even looked that up in the Bible once, and it is that. It's it's slightly different to what he said. Um, when I said, yeah, I noticed how quiet the venom was compared to the other air rifles I've shot. I'm oh, sorry, Amy, if I missed something you said there. Oh, sorry, Amy. If you have Insta, follow me on... Follow me, it's Amy Rose 19 You guys are fun. <laughs> yeah, I guess no one does. I haven't got Instagram. I've never set that up yet. Where people have... I think Pete might have it. Um, and then Pete said, I'll be taking this to the bedroom. Richard said, we'll have to watch Amy Sings videos later. Yeah, yeah, because you sing a bit, don't you, Rich? Sam said, uh, we're all too old for Instagram, Amy, I think. 
JBI said, I own an old Relum Tally from the 60s. Brilliant air rifle. But hard to find the parts. Weapons and stuff. So gas ram is like a gas system in a car boot. Gas compressed in a cylinder as opposed to a spring compressed in a cylinder. Gas ram more expensive to repair, Richard said. Yeah. Like, I know what the difference is, if you know what I mean, but I've never known the pros and cons of one. You know, why, why is a gas ram better than a spring if it is? You know what I mean? He instead of a piston, but instead of a spring, it uses nitrogen gas to move the spring. But yeah, saying about the car boot thing, you know, that's a good way to explain it. Yeah. <laughs> Mark said, I've gone on Instagram, can't figure it out. No, I don't, I don't know how you get me out of it. I don't know. Number Sabu said to um, Weapons Off, I know, Liam, I'm wondering if it's better than the spring system. Um, Weapons Off said, I'd say not at the moment. Maybe if companies use standard parts, then yes, otherwise stick with cheaper springers. They are. Good bit of advice there. Ian said to me, gas ram is a powerful ram, the same type you, yeah, I'm holding a hatchback boot up. That's it. Yeah. I, I, I do know the, what the difference is. I, what I meant was I don't know which one's better than the other, really. I've never really known. Amy's two away from 600. Nice. You're going to do a special video? It's a deal. I sing very low. Can't sing high. Never could. Iron Man. Bloody hell, I suppose you're alive today. <laughs> He said, oh, I'm here to save the stream. No politics. <laughs> yeah. No politics talk. Every day, I, every weekend, I see him drinking in the day. Mo his morning video of him getting bloody uh, pissed out of his face. Yeah, mate. Good on you, mate. I do sometimes. I always think, oh, I wonder if he'll be on later. Mike said, do you have any blank firing guns? I've got the only blank firing gun I've got now. And it's not in this room. Is a two-two revolver, um, and it's more like the standard little um, starter pistols. That's all I've got now. But I had a Desert Eagle, I had a Beretta ninety-two, nickel one. I had a couple of revolvers. I had a Glock. Tim said to Marcus, "I've got the two-two forty-two, bloody loud, but I love it. Heavily modded with GMAT custom parts. Yeah, I I do really like my two-two forty. Uh, when I said, in theory, gas ram can be a lot better than a springer, but not until companies actually make them um, all using replaceable parts. T2 said, anyone done something they are so embarrassed about? One of the guys I work with, Major League, messed up last night. Go on, carry on. Tom said, hi, man. How goes it, mate? Good videos last week. If you challenge on your last... I left you a challenge in your last video in the comments. Oh, man, so you haven't checked them yet. This was just subbed Amy. Ian said, spring bounces back and forth, unlike the ram. They say if a ram doesn't fail within a few months, they last forever. Best UK legal is the 80s version, HW80. Uh, bigger piston than normal though. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, no, I suppose that makes sense. Yeah, it's less, it's less of something smacking forward, can't see, isn't it? Oh, hello, Spike. By the way, I never even said hello to you. Sorry about that. And who else was on there? New a minute ago. I didn't actually say hello to. Was it? I want there someone else. <laughs> I always feel a bit rude when I don't say hello, but I forget sometimes. He says, what's the blank phone clock? Hey, what, Rite? What's that? What's Rite? Or did you mean something else there? It was a black one anyway. <laughs> this was when you could buy them, you know, just... I don't know, for, I think I bought it for a catalogue. I oh, man, it's my whole life with one being embarrassing, mo embarrassing moment. Oh, yeah. Yeah, mine was when I used to drink all the time. <laughs> That's what I used to drink all the time. Um, all right. Um, I don't know then, Spike. I can't remember. I don't think it was though. 
Welcome to the shame I can't get gas ram with Dacia boot gas ram. Lol, I'd trust that more than the cheapo ones they put in air rifles. Yeah, that'd be good, wouldn't it? T2 said, Are you sure it's okay to say on here? I'm giving him so much stick in work. Hey, you can say if you want. Or did he shit himself or something? <laughs> you can say if you want. Don't say his name there. <laughs> Jumbo Sabo said the spike. I've got an M16, AK47, MP40, Glock 17, Desert Eagle, and, um, six inch Colt Pies and Black Fires. Ian said, What's your go to favorite spring of my, my BSA Lightning every day of the week? Yeah, I love that. The BSA Lightning, I love that. And I also like my other one, my um, Webley Stingray Deluxe. Right, Tim said to Mark, "Is a great straight out of the box. I put a left hand breach on mine as it feels a lot better. I'm shooting right handed. Um, wooden target grips to which up. That's the 2240, isn't it? Well, it's on a car boot gas ram. We'll probably shoot way over 12 pounds, though. Tempted, I'm off, guys and gals. See you next week. Happy early Father's Day to the dads. See you later, Sam. Front venting, meaning, did he write that on it? I've missed that bit. Front venting, as in the flame that comes out, actually comes out the front, like it, you know, like it would. Or are you asking him, are they front venting? So you're asking him if they're front venting, aren't you? Yeah, see you later, Sam. Irishman, since I finished Chernobyl during the week, I need something new to watch. Anyone have any suggestions? <sighs> Not sure. Um... What, like serious or anything i would recommend watching what we do in the shadows on iplayer and um it's just started there's one episode on all four year of the rabbit but they're comedies both of them pocket for you right mate double table who said spike no mate front venting is illegal in the uk Ian was saying bye to Sam. Davey said to me, those Webleys are great air rifles. I used to see, I used to shoot a BSA Super sort of Webley Lightning. <clears throat> Very smooth. Yeah, fucking, that shit's coming right up now. <clears throat> Fuck's sake. <clears throat> I might have to take one of them lamp results in a minute, whatever they are. Damn soap results. <clears throat> Uh, Gunner said, Where'd you get the activated guns from? Yeah, DMB Military, and I, I used to get mine from um, Worldwide Arms Limited, <clears throat> and also at the back of um, Gun Mart. Ian said, We can't have front vent in the UK, too easy to fettle with their thinking. Mark has said to Tim, nice. I might put a shoulder stock on it. That's the 2240, isn't it? Well, we have quite a few other places as well, but the app's cost an arm and leg now. Port Falls of Slipknot are playing a concert in concert at Download, six miles from where I live. It's like they are literally playing in my back garden. Oh, that's, that's good, isn't it? Well, I suppose it's good if you like that music. If not, it'd be hardly fucking annoying, I suppose, wouldn't it? <laughs> <coughs> Yeah, if you like, they're good comedies, Irishman. I think you might like them. Tim said, Year of the Rabbit was funny. I binged the series the other day. Yeah, fucking good. Um, where am I? T2 said, oh, he, he got hard, took a picture and sent it to his missus. Oh, he got hard, took a picture, sent it to his missus, and realised when he looked, he'd sent the message <laughs> to his mother-in-law. Fuck's sake. <laughs> Zed says stomach acid is weird when you think about it. Is this a, is this a setup for a joke? No, it is odd. I ain't gonna, I'm not going to have this conversation until I know what he's doing. We'll see something here. Then. Um, Tim said to Marcus, if you get the stock, then you could get the longer barrel too. Oh, yeah, and have it like a rat catcher, yeah. 
Weapons officer reminds me of the funny story someone at the Blue Cross told me. They had someone come in wanting to adopt an animal, so it's shown the accommodation photos on their phone. Actually, showed a new selfie. <laughs> That's it. Right. One of the co-workers said, she said, he said, sorry, you can't, sorry, you can't adopt it. This is not big enough. <laughs> Uh, I've said you should have said sorry you can't adopt it as it's not big enough so, always makes me wonder when people do stuff like that if they meant to do it or not but yeah no it is odd um, acid acid is, is odd so that acid in your stomach is very powerful as well isn't it and your, your stomach has to constantly create some kind of bile don't it to um, stop it burning through it yeah very, the whole fucking thing of the Human body's quite odd when you think about it, isn't it? Ian said, I've got an M NMP product, Sheffield. It's basically a shop, a couple of containers, good website. Um, NMP product, Sheffield Air Office. I'll check that out. <laughs> JB was saying to T2, that's funny. Poor fella. Botful said, um, just finished here as well. <laughs> Little mix were playing last year. Unfortunately, none of them popped in for a couple. <laughs> Once they've finished. Maybe I said, anyone done any good boot fairs of like, I've not. I ain't done any. You know what? I had a rat catcher, Marcus and Tim, but I um, sold it to a cousin when I was skint. I never liked it, though. I preferred the fucking, um, <clears throat> because I didn't like, because to me, it's, it's technically a rifle, and then, therefore, it's not as, powerful you know technically shouldn't the rat catcher be at a b12 foot pound because it's a rifle really isn't it the one that just have a 12 foot pound so it's like an underpowered rifle to me i know it's for certain things in that but yeah i i, I always thought i don't you know i've got to go to my other one soon jim we've got two car boots that we i could go to <clears throat> that fucking acid reflux is making my fucking throat go funny again. Um, the one I go to, one I've been to the last couple of times, never had anything decent. But every time some people go to the other one, they always tell me there was loads of fucking air rifles there and shit like that. And, <clears throat> and knives and swords. He said, there's a guy putting up all the specs on the Crossman 2240. He says, if you go over approximately 24 inches on the barrel and friction takes over and slows the projectile, he's recorded all the specs. Oh, that's interesting, isn't it? Jim said to Marcus, you can get all those bits from GMAC, but would need a, um, RFD to order the barrel. Pocket full said, I have HW100 Sport. BSA R10, both PCP rifles, accurate to 50 yards, but can easily reach 180 to 200. Amy, if you're still there, if you've got 600 subs yet, <clears throat> go over and have a look at your channel and have a look. Right, let me refresh that. Oh, she's on 599. Come on, someone go over there and sub to her. I think I've still got the thing open. Hopefully that's the right channel. <laughs> Ian said all the hammer springs, hammer weights, and the large port seal and the extended bolts probes. Oh, what that's on that website. Um, JBO said you get a chance, Mike. Try out Pedham Place in Swanley next to the big golf course. Brilliant boot fair. Never come away empty-handed. I'll get most of my jackets. No, not. That's another thing you never see in the ones I go to. You never see any fucking camo stuff. No no weapons at all. But, as I said, the other one that I haven't been to recently, um, it does have that kind of stuff. I just haven't been to it for about 20 fucking years. I oh, imagine I had a few haters on my channel now. Must be doing something right. That's it. That's when you know you're getting popular. Irishman said, "What's the pe What's the story of people saying oil in the barrel? Oh, their rifles for more power. Does it work?" 
Uh, I won't go into too much detail about that because that's probably potentially illegal. Do you know what I mean? But yeah, I have heard that. Yeah, if you do that, that does. It's called dieseling, isn't it? Um, I've heard it works. I don't know if it does. King Sue said to JBO, while well, trainee and work goes to um, Chirk car boot and makes a bloody fortune. Mark said, nice. No, unfortunately, I don't drive, so I have to rely on this. That's my problem, Jim. I um, can't drive. Well, I can drive, but I don't drive. Um, although I say I, I fucking can drive. I probably can't drive now. I've been so fucking long. Um, <laughs> I don't have a car. I'll do that eventually, Iron Man. He said, I want to see a video of you shoot the M4S so off my one day. What I'll probably, that'll probably definitely get used on the uh, shooting competition. If anyone uses a similar thing, I'll do that. What was it, oil in the barrel? No, if you clean the barrel properly, it helps. Shouldn't push it over top of it. Oh, you mean just, yeah, cleaning the barrels up. I don't know what Z said, don't know about oil in the barrel, but Vaseline on the back of a pellet causes diesel in. It's a bit iffy, though. can damage your air gun. Right, I'll be going off any minute, because it's actually gone past the time. <clears throat> right, so anyone on here, if you want quivers, make sure you get hold of me. Email me. I've seen that Tim, Z, Jim and Leonard, they messaged me the other day anyway. So if the other people don't get back to me, you'll be the first ones on the, um, you know, your next ones on the list for them. Uh, cheers, Iron Man. I appreciate that. Yeah, I'll probably start setting up to go off now because this fucking heartburn is making my throat go funny now. I say heartburn. It's acid reflux coming back up. I've noticed the last couple of days it's been doing it. Today, that Chinese sort of set it off. I'll have to work out what I can and can't eat. I'll have to go easy on the food, I reckon. <clears throat> Otherwise, it's another trip to the fucking doctor to get me that shit. Yeah, DMB military is quite good. I noticed they got more of a selection than um, Worldwide Arms and cheaper prices. Yeah, thanks for watching, everyone. Marcus and Bristol, if you want them torches, get hold of me. Um, you know, they're yours. <clears throat> sort something out. I can go a bit cheaper. If you want more than one, you know, I'm not quite a bit off. Room full of vinegar for heartburn. Sure, that would make worse, wouldn't it? <laughs> Try to make me ill there, Irishman. If it does work, I appreciate that. That, was, that sounds like the opposite. And stuff saying, right, uh, night everyone. Apparently, fluorescent bulbs release radiation, so I'll check that. Yeah, do that. And the bananas, they're always all about fucking bananas, isn't they? We'll just do something really sensitive for that. Yeah, I suppose I could ring up for a repeat. I'm hoping I don't need it though, Mark, because I don't want to start having to pay for that. You know what I mean? <clears throat> but yeah, it could have been our hey, gym saying, um, yeah, I had a curry. Drinks curry. I reckon that's done it. Curry today. Oh, Gaviscon. Ian, thank you for mentioning that. We've got some of that downstairs. I'll do that. And I'll try the, um, if it don't work, I'll try the um, vinegar thing. I see you could do the banana thing then, man. Yeah, cheers for watching, everyone. I appreciate it. I will, um, I'll get on some fucking, um, heartburn shit tomorrow's video although probably be boring will be a review of this fucking um smart padlock and then monday will be uh film club i have no idea what i'm going to film for that though all right thanks for watching everyone i appreciate it been a good chat again tonight see you all later good night See you all tomorrow. Thanks for watching.